Yo guys, what's up and welcome to a new video from me in which I'm going to show you that it's easier than ever pushing high in top ladder and in my specific example I try to show you that it's easier than ever pushing uh, top 10 in the world and we are instantly playing against Sandbox who is for sure not enough yet. I need around about 60 trophies, I've checked it before recording this video, so I need pushing up round about 60 trophies, as I mentioned, it's going to be in top ladder most of the times, round about 3 games. In case you don't miss any kind of content, just make sure to subscribe to this channel, also liking this video is highly appreciated, and this is no disrespect or something like that to anyone else, it's just my own, ex my, my own feeling, and to be fair, it's kind of season end already just four days left until season end and you guys can see me i'm pretty pretty high so yes i think this title title is no clickbait and also when i just push to top 10 in the world no question that this is no quick bait or, uh, at all lava hound is coming down but i wanted to get down with my barbarians so big l go goes out to myself it's time for a mega minion and it's time for a tombstone. For sure not getting down with a fireball uh, with barbarians because fire uh, barbarians is just too much fireball value. Now all of my skeletons are just dying and I hope I'm able surviving this mistake somehow. Now just getting down with barbarians. He's fireballing him. I've just wanted to bait out his barbarians. I mean, no big question, I hope for you guys, because I've just wanted to kill or prevent that he's playing the fireball onto my drakes, and this was something I were pretty success successful about it. So, Zap comes in. By the way, guys, my next barbarians are just the evolved barbarians. His next RG isn't the evolved RG, so great stuff for myself. He's playing his lumberjack out. Of, uh, I mean, I um, he no, never mind. I was thinking about the lumberjack, but didn't wanted to talk about the lumberjack. Okay, 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 guys. What's the next thing he's going to do? I need to get down with fireball. As well, need to get down with a with a mega minion right here. Just getting one hit, and it's all good, guys. Where's his next phoenix? To be fair, I think it's a good fair question. Otherwise, I'm just getting down with the next tombstone. Just getting down with the next lava hound, and as always, my barbarians are just ready to rumble. Lava hound comes down as well. He's getting down with the lock so luckily my tombstone is just taking care of the full royal giant he's fireballing the stuff but still especially when i'm just zapping this this one it looks less as i'm getting a second hit not unfortunately but still we are able finishing him it's incredible lucky for myself that i'm playing against sandbox who gave me plus 30 trophies even though i ran number 20 in the uh, number 20 in the world already so right now i managed getting instantly top 13 in the world so i think the title is not clickbait as i said and it's easier than ever pushing top 10 in the world even though it's kind of season end and i'm not sure where i can show it you guys exactly you guys can see just four days before the scene reset all right guys and now being in the next game i've told to you guys or i'm not sure if i told to, to you guys but I just need 19 trophies more and my opponent is for sure under me no question about that but luckily he's just I think 40 trophies under me so I will be top 10 in the world after I won this game I'm pretty sure about that so he's getting down with a hunter so I guess it's time for my fireball fireballing right here and it's time for a Bill Mega Minion, I guess. Now it's time for a Zap. Good Zap. Zap is yeah, also taking damage onto the Royal Giant. So Royal Giant isn't connecting onto or isn't yeah dealing one hit. And I think one hit is a lot of damage just by a Royal Giant. So it's time for my next barbarians, which are just coming down right here. I didn't want it, or I need to get out of the barbarians so my opponent isn't out cycling me. And the worst thing which could happen is just the next evolved royal giant 
and I have no answer against it. So I just needed to get down. Drakes are coming down. Mega Minion is coming down as well. It's time for Unzap. Making a lot of damage onto him, also building up in small counter push in my opinion. He has to get down with a fireball. Otherwise, Hunter won't be enough, but that's just my expression. Or am I wrong? Yes, I'm wrong. Okay, guys, I was I was wrong. So he's getting down with a hunter. Is he supporting that one? Yes, he's supporting the the hunter with a fisherman, but no big deal. Playing with barbarians. Okay, one barbarian just died. But overall, great counter push and we are still into the game. And as I just said, we do not need a lot of trophies. We just need around about 19 trophies. So in case we are winning this game, we are just top 10 in the world, guys. And this is a big W. This is a big W. Okay, okay, okay. Balloon comes down. Also, search time was kind of great for finding the first game and finding a good second game. Okay, Drakes are coming down as well. It's time for my barbarians. Let's just see if he's playing in Fireball or something like that. Yeah, here, here we go. Fireball comes down, so I'm just answering it with Tombstone. And... I'm not sure yet about that, but... By just playing a Fireball and hopefully boosting the Fireball into the Death Bomb, but I'm not sure. No, never mind. But it, I don't care about that because I just have my Evolved Barbarians and the game just takes one about... Yeah, 10 seconds, so there's no no hope for him. He's not even getting any hit, so that's that's pretty great. I didn't expect it, getting one about 60 trophies in just two games, or over six, uh, 19 trophies. Over 60 trophies, I mean. So we are right now number 10 in the world already. I didn't expect it getting top 10 in the world by just two games, so I think we are continuing with at least one or two more games. So... Maybe, I'm not sure about yet that, but maybe I'm able just changing the title, the title from it's never easier before getting top 10 to it's never easier before getting top 5 in the world. Alright guys, and I can't prove you that, but I searched for over 10 minutes for this game. So in my opinion, it's worth it. Don't bring a like if, like if you didn't already. But just if you want. And now being in the last game of today's video. I think Keith is pretty low. But let's just see if we are still able beating him. And to be fair, when losing this game, I guess I've instantly dropped out of the top 10. Probably also lost all of my trophies, which I just gained into the two games before. But that's another thing. So Lava Hound, Lava Hound, Lava Hound comes down to the right. He's getting down with a Lumberjack. I'm surprised why a lot of players aren't playing with the Ghost anymore. Everyone just switched to the Lumberjack. For for me personally on this matchup, it's a lot of better when he's playing uh, yeah, with, with, uh, with Lumberjack. But I guess there has to be uh, some other matchups where it looks like as it's a small benefit playing with Lumberjack. I guess probably it's also just a mirror matchup where Lumberjack is a huge, huge benefit um, than playing with, yeah, with the normal, how should I call it? Playing with the normal Royal Giant deck just with the, with the Ghost. So, I guess it's time for a Zap. Uh, for sure the Ghost will deal a lot of damage onto me. Unfortunately, one about 1000 damage, but I have no serious or serious idea how I could have prevented that. Drakes are getting down as well if he's, in case he's fireballing that one. I'm getting down with some barbarians otherwise I just have to get the damage. I have to feed the damage even though it just feels so so bad to be fair. So now Royal Gi oh, I managed killing the Royal Giant luckily. I'm just getting down with the balloon right here. He might have his Phoenix but even though I guess it was, was worth it. King Tower is also just looking like King Tower is taking a lot of damage. Next Mega Minion comes down. Am I getting down with a Fireball? No, I, I won't. Drakes are ready to rumble in case he's fireballing me. I'm just getting down with my own barbarians. Now it's time for a balloon in front of. He's getting down with a ghost. It's no question what he's trying to do, my opponent. He's just trying to get his next evolved uh, evolved royal giant as fast as back as fast as possible 
back into the hand. Drakes are getting down as well. So am I supposed defending him or is this going to be the L for my for myself? But I'm even zapping that. Holy shit, I didn't play perfectly. <laughs> Especially I think the one barbarians in the pocket weren't good. But because of the great matchup, I managed winning three games in a row in the top 20 already in the world. For sure, three times against Royal Giant, three times a good matchup. But still, sometimes you are a lucky boy. Sometimes you are a lucky boy. It's no clickbait when I call this title. It's never easier. Oh, it was never easier before pushing top 10 into the world. And I'm not even finishing this video at top 10 in the world. I'm finishing today's video at number 6 in the world. So as always, thanks for watching to everyone. Thanks for supporting everyone. I think your comments are just so, so kindly. So thanks for all of your support and see you next video. Bye guys.